Hi folks, we're back again in the greenhouse and it's a beautiful day today. The temperature is, um, what are we at? About almost 80 there, which is very pleasant indeed. I try to keep this around about 75. So, tomato trial first. So I mentioned this last year, I was going to try a tomato trial. So what I've got is, I've got six gardener's delights here. And on these two here, I'm not going to feed them because last year, People I gave tomatoes to who went on holidays had far better tomatoes than me because they neglected them. And it says in the books to stop feeding tomatoes when they start to ripen because they think they're going to die. So they push the fruit out further, quicker, and they ripen quicker to get the seed to the ground. That seems to work faster if you don't feed them at all. They kind of panic and start producing fruit earlier and ripen easily. So that's what I'm trying this year. So I'm not feeding these ones and I'm feeding these two. But the other experiment is, I'm, I'm not going to prune this one here. And I'm not going to prune this one here. Because we have traditionally taken the, the, the suckers off, as they call them, or the bits in between the joints. These here, those boys there, we'd normally take those off. But I think that goes back to Victorian production times. When they wanted to get the leaves off, they could train the plants easier. And then they got ripened because they're getting more sunshine with less leaf. So that's my theory, and I'm going to try pruning and not pruning and see what difference there is. And then this one here, this is going to be done traditionally with the pruning, but it's got eggshells in the bottom of it. And this one here has banana skins in the bottom, just chopped up and put in with the soil at the, at the root base. So we'll see how that makes a difference, if it makes a difference. Then with more tomatoes here, I'm conscious of the sun here, and these are the same tomatoes in pots that I have outside to see what difference it makes in the greenhouse. And you can see here, those ones are Garden Pearl. They're getting flowers already. Oh, here's the other one, Fiorentino. Oh, Red Alert, they're getting flowers as well. So they are definitely coming on a bit faster than the ones outside. And then I've got peppers here inside in these pots. And I've got more tomatoes here. Those are four Roma tomatoes, which are outside tomatoes, but I want to try them inside. The lettuces along the back are just trying to make up space. And then four Gardener's Delights, traditionally grown, but this time, what I've done instead of, I remember I said about, I was going to try and lift up the soil here. It was too expensive. So what I did was I dug holes and filled them full of a mixture of um, four parts cow manure, four parts John Ennis compost, and two parts perlite. And then I put some uh, chicken, chicken manure in with that as well. So I'm not going to feed them as intensively as I usually do and see how they get on. They've actually grown quite a bit in the past few days. Then inside corn, and this is growing, this is much taller, this is planted the same day as the stuff outside, and it's grown really well, because a friend of mine down the road didn't know I grew it outside, he grows his in the greenhouse, so I thought, right, I'll try this as well. So it's worked. See moving these benches down to the bottom, it has gotten me a lot more space. Then if we go on to the benches, we've got some peppers here that are waiting to go to anybody wants them, because I've got far too many, but I can't throw things out. And I've got these are lettuces waiting to come on for the next go. Cucumbers, that was two seeds out of ten that actually germinated, but they seem to be doing. And these are lettuces, they're in about four weeks and they're doing really, really well. Cucumbers, again, super job. They are coming on the very best. And then more corn. This one here is Sundance, um, to try it in here. And the other one here is Honeydew. What I did last year was I grew Sundance and another one. And we decided Sundance was better. So we got it this year again, and I'm trying, I'm trying the, the honeydew as well, and we'll decide this year which one to get next year, and we'll keep whichever one and try a new one. And then these are my peppers. Now they should do well because they're in the composting mix again, and they've got loads of sun here and light, so they hopefully come on okay. So that's basically how things are in the greenhouse. I'm not going to spend much more time on this because I'm trying to get two videos out of one battery feed, and I'm going to try a third one now for the cap protection. So that's the garden trial. I'll be doing more updates on that during the season. Okay then, bye bye for a few minutes. We'll be back shortly.